Hello and welcome to chapter 11 of the book of Tobit. As always, I'm reading from the Christian Community Bible, the Catholic Pastoral Edition, and sometimes I get some footnotes from the Catholic Youth Bible. I also try to use the Lectio Divina, which is this approach to read the Bible by reading, then meditating, then praying, and then contemplating. Let's start with a prayer. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When they arrived near Kasseri, which faces the city of Nineveh, Raphael said to Tobias, You know in what state your father Tobit was when we left him? Let us go ahead to prepare the house before your wife Sarah arrives. Bring with you the gall of the fish. The dog also went with them, walking behind them. Now Anna was sitting there, scanning the road along which her son should return. She saw Tobias and Raphael coming in the distance and said to the father of Tobias, Your son is coming with the man who accompanied him. While Tobias and Raphael were still going along the road, Raphael said to Tobias, I'm sure that your father will regain his sight. Rub his eyes with the fish gall, and when he feels his eyes itching, he will rub them and the film will come away like scales from his eyes. He will regain his sight and see the light. Anna ran to meet Tobias and threw her arms around his neck, saying, At last I have seen you again, my child. Now I can die. And both of them began to cry. Tobit also got up and, stumbling, arrived at the door of the courtyard. Tobias ran to him with the fish gall in his hand. He pressed on his father's eyes, embraced him, and said, Father, have confidence. Then he spread the fish gall on Tobit's eyes. Tobias waited. When his eyes began to itch, Tobit rubbed them and with both hands scaled off the film from the corners of his eyes. When Tobit saw his son, he threw his arms around Tobias' neck and began to weep. He said, Blessed be you, O God, blessed be your name forever, blessed be your holy angels. You have punished me, but you have taken pity on me, and now I can see my son Tobias. Tobias was very happy. After entering the house, he told his father about the important things that had happened in Medea. He told his father about the successful outcome of his journey, how he got the money, and how he married Sarah, daughter of Rawael, who just then was approaching the gates of Nineveh. Tobit, happy and praising God, went out to meet his daughter-in-law at the gates of Nineveh. All those who saw him walking along and unaided were amazed that he could see. David proclaimed to them that God has taken pity on him and cured him. Then he went to Sarah and blessed her, saying, Welcome, daughter. May God be blessed for having brought you to us, and may your father and mother also be blessed. It was a day of great rejoicing for all David's relatives who lived in Nineveh. A hiker, David's nephew, and Nevad arrived from Elimai, and the wedding celebrations lasted for a week. Okay, here we see that Tobias finally met his father, Tobit, and he reunited with his parents. When they were coming back home, Raphael, who was telling Tobias that his parents must be very worried because it's been long, so that's why they went home first and the rest of the people coming with Tobias. So when he came, when they are approaching the house, Raphael said, don't forget the gall of the fish, so use it as a remedy, as a way to heal the, the eyes of Tobit. And it worked. He put the gall in his eyes and then he could see again. And the nice thing about this is that Tobit was always giving thanks to God. In some way he was supposed to be punished for what he was saying, but God is all merciful, so he feels pity on Tobit, so he cured him. And that's why he can see his son again and even his new daughter again he's always uh, asking for blessing and saying god to god thanks for the blessing and again they have a wedding celebration that lasted for a week so they continue celebrating all these good things happening in their life 
First for Tobias who met his wife Sarah and Sarah be cured of this evil and also Tobit for being cured of his blindness. So yeah, they have to be happy and we have to always thank God. Even when we see things that are not going well, God is always in our sight. So we have to say thanks to him for his blessing every day. So let's see what's going to happen now. It looks like the story is almost finished but there is still more to be said so let's see what's going to happen in the next chapter 